Duffy split. Yeah, fucking Duffy, Kavanaugh, Tyrell. Duffy rolls out of here in a brand new Cadillac off the lot, has the nerve to ask me to clean out his fucking locker and save it for him. Probably has dirty pictures of his wife. I don't know what the fuck's in here. Uh-huh. He does have dirty pictures of his wife. Yes, oh. he does. Fuck, you met her at Hooters. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm. You like that, huh? Mm. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep him. Well, no, I got to answer to Duffy for that. I'll answer to him. Well, it means a doofus, but he's not a bad guy. Fuck Duffy. Just fuck him. Fuck all of them. Five copies of an arrest report. If the prisoner was transported, there wouldn't still be five copies here. Duffy might have left him downstairs. What's his name? Chavez. Let's go find him. Who's that? Strange, because the manifest says the prisoners are all evacuated. Anything's possible in this storm. Who's that? I feel a bet coming on. Should we open the casino? Please. <laughs> all right. Up to his nose by 4 o'clock. The fuck took you so long, man? Please. Please watch, shitbird. Hey, get me the fuck out of here, man. The water's rising. It's been rising for like three hours, man. It's already up to my neck. I'm not going to be able to fucking stand here long, man. I'm going to fucking drown, man. The water doesn't stop, man. It keeps <laughs> rising and shit, man. Get me the fuck out of here. There's fucking snakes and shit in this water, bro. Get me out. All right, 20 bucks and the Polaroid. The water's rising, please. Says nothing happens before That's five. Cool, 20 bucks, what the fuck is that? Let's make it worth our while, at least. A dime. I'm not betting you no thousand dollars. 500. Get me the fuck out of here, man. The water keeps rising, man. Get me the fuck out of here. All right, 200 and the Polaroids. Please, motherfuckers, please. Please watch shit, turd. You got a broke leg, sir. Please, get me out of here. Wait a minute. You want me to get wet on account of you? Yeah, I think the world owes you living, huh? I'm gonna drown, sir. Hey, man, I got on Swiss cotton underpants. Yeah, that's right. Cost me $55 a pair. You think I want to get all this brown water and shit all over them? That don't come out. You, you got underwear on that cost $55? My girl gave it to me. <laughs> come on, we'll get the time of death from autopsy. What are you doing? Hold this. Oh, come on, man. And let the fire department get him out. What are you, crazy? He ain't worth it. Come on, man. You are crazy. <laughs> you okay, man? You okay? Well, the good news, Terrence, is I'll okay you to return to full duty. The bad news is that in all likelihood, you'll be experiencing moderate to severe back pain. How severe? You'll want to be taking something for it. I'm going to write you a prescription for Vicodin. For how long? From now on. No, for how long am I going to have pain? We're going to try to manage this as long as we can. For the rest of my life? Probably. But they're making advancements every day, so just work with me on this, all right? Now, when this runs out, call the office. Thank you for helping me honor our fallen heroes today. Uh, we will now move on to the awards and promotions. Among those being promoted to lieutenant today, it gives me great pleasure to additionally award the Distinguished Service Cross to Sergeant now Lieutenant Terrence McDonough, in recognition of extreme valor in the line of duty. Congratulations, Lieutenant.
three more. You don't want to look. It's execution style. What'd you come up with? Scale in the closet, a bundle of glassy envelopes. Thought better room? I thought he went away. Oh, well, he's out. I saw him the other day. Let's get him in. His baby mama's over by General Taylor in Annunciation. Uniforms doing the canvas? The duty captain sent him out. Whoever they talked to, I went followed up by a member of the squad. We'll see to that personally, Armand. They pulling security cameras? Yeah. Every license plate in the area. Got it. My friend, by Babakar Indaler. My friend is a fish. He live in my room. His fin is a cloud. He see me when I sleep. Couple's name, Dauda and Yasin in Dele. Dauda's mother's name, Ramatulai in Dele. Children's names, Animata and Babakar. Families from Senegal, immigration status illegal. From what we know, Dauda had been dealing heroin to supplement his income as a peddler. Now, I want every drug dealer. Every junkie within a five mile radius hassled into giving up who his supplier was. Due to the nature of this crime, you've got full authorization for overtime if you need it. Lieutenant McDonough is gonna be heading up the investigation, so coordinate with him. That's it, let's see some results. McDonough, see you in my office for a minute. You up to this? Why wouldn't I be? I know you still have problems with your back, dealing with being in pain a lot of the time. I'm managing. You still taking medication for it? Only what the doctor prescribes. Ordinarily, well, there'd be somebody with more time on the job handling this kind of investigation. But I'm gonna go out on a limb with you because you got good instincts and don't do nothing but work. But I find out that you needed help and didn't ask for it. I'm gonna be mad. Yes, sir. How's your old man doing? He's drinking himself into an early grave. Give him my best, would you? I will. Lieutenant? No more unnecessary jumps, huh? Yes, sir. Bring me something? You're out already? Yes. Mm. Mm. 
Frankie, hey, this is Andy. Hey, hey, hey. Calling to see if you have any time to wait. I'm at the moment of the own. You need a call back? Nope. You know I'd rather go to the Monteleon with you. I can't afford it. I can. I can afford it. Yeah. Who brought him in? That's who's questioning him? I'll be there in 10 minutes. Tell him I'm on my way. Tell him if he puts his hands on this guy, he's going to have a problem. I don't give a shit, Armand. You tell him to take a fucking break. She crazy. They don't pay me. Excuse me, could you tell me how much longer that's going to be? You just Hello, miss. I'm a lieutenant in the police department. I'm in the middle of a homicide investigation. Can I get my prescription, please? Do you see I'm on the phone? Hey, you can't come back here. You got me waiting 30 minutes so you can make a fuck personal phone call. Can't be back. Security, security to pharmacy, security to pharmacy, please. This is it, this is it. Come on, guy. Police on. emergency, this is it. You know, cop. What's that look like? Then why are you acting all crazy for it? This is uh, $23 with my copay, right? Here's 40. Get everybody a drink. Get the fuck out of my way. Doug, look at me. OK? Two hours, that's enough. Now tell me something I don't know. I don't think you're taking me seriously. Man, you got to get me out of here. I'll get you out of here? What are you, crazy? I got you in possession. You're on parole. I mean, one of the one skinny ass joint. Yeah, one of the skinny ass joint's gonna get you back in the joint. I got five dead people, man. You understand? I don't know about it, man. Dombos from the motherland, tell me something. What you want me to tell you, man? I want you to tell me something I haven't heard. I don't want you to tell me. Look at me. I don't want you to tell me that you don't know nothing. But I don't know nothing. Listen. I got two you tell what I dead say. baby yambos. You understand what that means? That means I can do whatever I want in this room. Two little yambos, shithead. That means Guantanamo Bay rule. Maybe. You believe this motherfucker? I busted my ass for yambos, and this yam won't tell me shit. Detective, can I see you outside for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Two minutes. Think about it. Uh, not a great time to take a break. What are you doing? What the? He's about to go. Bullshit, Stevie. He's scared out of his mind because you and your partner made a spectacle out of picking him up. Now, everyone in Central City knows he's in here. Are you trying to... No, just shush. You, you think he's going to go out on a limb? You, you keep insulting him you, like that? You're trying to tell me how to do my interrogation? Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm well, going to tell you when I think you're doing something wrong. You're fuck yourself. I'm going to treat you respectfully. You treat me respectfully. I'm looking at some bullshit pot bust, and because you're on parole, you wind up back in Angola? Why would you do that? I mean, I ain't the one doing it. Who'd this African guy piss off? I never said two words to him. I don't know. But you knew he was selling dope, though. Come on. Should I just call your parole officer? He'll violate you, and I'll stop wasting my time. I knew he was selling. OK. Tell me where he was selling. Whose neighborhood was it? <laughs> Man, look. I got me a good job at a cleaning service. I check in when I'm supposed to. I smoke a little weed, but that's it. Tell me whose neighborhood it was, Dub. Man. You know fate? Big fate, yeah. Ain't nothing moved that part of town. He ain't got a piece of it. Where can I find him? <laughs> Shit. I'm saying all I'm gonna say. Now, if, if you want me to lead you to him, then you just well lock me the fuck back up. Check Stevie's arrest report on Dub. If it mentions marijuana, make sure it gets lost. What do I tell Stevie? You can tell him to go fuck himself, and I'm going to go upstairs and catch an hour in the crib.
What do you want, Mund? Internal Affairs is checking the property room vouchers. So? So that means they're gonna find out this shit missing. Not if you don't tell them they won't. I, I can't do it anymore, Terrence. Oh, fuck. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry. I just can't. Munt. Whatever drugs might have been taken out of the property room, you no longer have a voucher, you understand? They won't turn up as missing because there's no record of them being there in the first place, okay? They're installing cameras. So then you don't do anything where the cameras can see you. I can't. So when it was me redoing paperwork to cover the cash you misplaced, that was all right. That was entirely fucking reason. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Munt. Hey, Munt. the wall. Mm. Come on. Stand no. against the wall. Okay. Oh what? Wait, you too busy making out with your girlfriend? You don't know when you've done something illegal? What are we high on tonight? Nothing. You passed drugs in that club? No. The two of you match your description. Empty your pockets, dump out the handbag. Why? You're hard of hearing? I said you match your description. Somebody seen passing drugs. <laughs> I wasn't passing drugs. What does that even mean? Empty your pockets, dump out the handbag. I'm not going to tell you again. This is bullshit. Just, just do what he says, OK? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you got in there? Nothing. I'm not going to get stuck, am I? No. I get stuck, I'm going to be very fucking angry. I'm not going to get stuck. Where's your badge if you're a cop? Here's what I'm looking for. Here's where it says I'm a cop. Sir, it's, it's obviously just, just for personal use. I mean, I'm, I'm not a dealer. That's for the DA to decide. You're going to dump that bag into I got to do it. Sir, sir, is, is there any way my parents don't have to find out about this? I mean, can we, can we just, you know, handle, handle this? I'll go to jail on weekends or something like that if I have to do that. My father has a heart condition, OK? Look, this would kill him. Please, just let me keep this from him, please. I think he might want to know. Yeah, I'd want to know for my child. Here. This fur isn't nothing, but this was my grandmother's. It's worth $60,000. You can give it to your girlfriend. If you don't have a girlfriend, you can give it to your mother. It's attempted bribery. Excuse me. This is worth $60,000. Doesn't that get us past attempted? Where's the rock at? Come on, come on. Who's got the kibble? You want a hit? Yes. Take. 
your own father funny now? No. Well, what about your mother? I don't give a shit about either one of them. Uh, they beat you? No. Uh, molest you? No. Uh, didn't buy you new clothes or back to school, huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Huh? Didn't see you in the high school play, huh? Huh? Uh, I wonder what they'd say if they saw you now. Huh? Yeah. Smoking crack. Uh, mm -hmm. Going out with no, no panties on. Uh, nah, no panties. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I bet they think about you when you were a little girl. Uh, wonder how it all happened, yeah? Uh, 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 fucking mom! Uh, you stand there and you watch! Uh, uh, you watch yeah. her! Uh, yeah. You watch your fucking uh, girlfriend! Uh, 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 uh. Fuck! Get the coke. I'll get out of here. You didn't break it out for your client? Uh, he brings his own. Uh huh. Who are you? person in the world you want me to be. He's just an old friend. Come on, Missy. We've had you under surveillance for weeks. Got any illegal substances on you? Like what? Asshole. Cooperate with me. I'll let you walk out of here. You play games. Come with her. I got some coke. Get it. Get out. That was fun. <laughs> hey, you better love me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a policeman? Yes. Do you know who do this? I don't know yet. Look here. This dead, this boy, Baba car. This little girl, pretty girl, no more. He's dead, dead, all the men. Oh, my angel, she is dead. All my whole family. How are you related? Yasin. She was my sister. When was the last time you saw her? I see her that morning. I go by in case she need anything. But that morning, she said she needs something from the grocery, and she called there and had it delivered by a boy to her home. Help me, please. Please help my family. Kill her for my family. Please, sir, help me. Help. No. 
closer. The manager's over there. Hey. New Orleans homicide. You got people making deliveries here? We got different guys making deliveries. Different days, different guys. This would have been Tuesday. Mm, different times of day, different guys. Late afternoon. We don't keep track of who takes what to the uh -huh. Is there a delivery boy who hasn't shown up in a while? Hello, police department. Uh, we're looking for Benny Rogers. I'm Benny Rogers. Well, we need to talk to you for a second, Miss Rogers. Do you mind stepping in the hall? No, I can't step into the hall. Can't you see this lady needs me here? We're looking for your grandson, Miss Rogers. What are you looking for him for? Just to talk. We, we just want to talk to him. He do something wrong? You might have been a witness to a crime. I don't know anything about that. Where can we find him? Young man, what do you think gives you the right to come into my room and have a conversation without even acknowledging my presence? We're terribly sorry. It's very important we talk to this woman's grandson. And she told you she doesn't know where he is. Actually, she hasn't told us that. I don't know. Sorry, Grandma. What do you want to know? Did you make a delivery Tuesday on Josephine and Daniil's son? Uh-huh. What, what did you see there? This is a 15-year-old boy, sir. We need you to tell us what you saw, Daryl. He don't get involved in drugs, in gangs. He go to school. He hold down a job and he come home. A family was murdered, ma'am. And I feel very bad about that. But I don't want my grandson involved in it. Maybe your grandson has some feelings of his own. Well, the lady told me to set the uh, grocery bags in the kitchen. As I was setting the grocery bags down, I heard screaming. And I heard gunshots. So I hid in the closet. And when I came out, everybody was all dead. Did you see who shot them? Say yes or no. This is who we're looking for. Name is Donald Godshaw, street name Big Faith. You should familiarize yourself with his record goes back to 91. Did time for rape, sodomy, aggravated assault, narcotics, and possession of automatic weapons. We believe he's also behind at least three homicides, including the Ndele family. Lieutenant, want to show some of those victims? All three were possible witnesses. God tries two flunkies that he runs with. Deshaun Hackett, street name Midget. Has a girlfriend on Burgundy and Manzant. We'll set up surveillance on the block. Maybe we'll get lucky. He'll turn up. Gary Jenkins, street name G. <laughs> His grandmother lives in the Iberville Projects. If he's laying low, chances are that's where we'll find him. Right. Let's bring him in. Access to the apartment next door, do you mind? 
Aw, it's okay, baby. <laughs> Why you need access phone? Yeah, we had some complaints about a disturbance. They're not answering the door. I love it. <laughs> I just love it. I told you everything I know. This is your lucky day, son. You're the first person we picked up. You're in a position to help yourself. Help myself to what? We think you know something about this family that got murdered. I don't know nothing, man. You were in the apartment when the Africans got shot. Who was with you, Midget Donald? Who? Donald Godchow! Big fate! Where is he? Where can we find him? I don't know no big fate. We find him on our own. We don't need you no more. There's gonna be five homicides to answer for, and Donald's gonna hang them on you. That means he gets eight to ten, you get natural life. I don't know nobody named Midget. I don't know nobody named Big Fate. <laughs> Ronaldo Hayes! Oh. Man. That's bad luck. I keep hoping once in a while this kid throw to somebody on his own oh. team. I love the guy. By the end of the fucking game, I'm starting to hate him. What do you want for the weekend? What's the spread of Louisiana, Arkansas? Four. Give me Louisiana. Minus the four for a dime. You got it. I got a favor to ask you. My kid got a speeding ticket. I get him taken care of. You give me half a point. You're going to grind me for helping out my kid? Grind you? You're a funny guy. You know that? There's guys getting half a point on the street for nothing. Grind you. <laughs> All right, but you take care of it. I'm Lieutenant McDonough, New Orleans Homicide. What can I do for you? A friend of mine's daughter got ridden up for speeding. She was doing 75 on the way to the hospital to visit her grandmother. Has a couple of minor, minor moving violations in the past, but she's in danger of losing her license. What do you want me to do? I'd like you to take care of it for me. You come out to the scene of an accident, ask me that? We got both parts of the summons. There shouldn't be a problem. Are you asking me to break the law? Is that what you're doing here? Are you asking me to break the law? I'm asking you, one cop to another, to do me a favor. The answer's no. Just like that. Just like that. Is this the same police department my father was in? You'll excuse me. Right. Guardian of the flame, right? Fucking ass. Get back in your car, Lieutenant. 
Or else what? Hey there. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know the lieutenant officer? Yeah, we used to work together. Why don't you walk him back to his car? I could have told you not to bother with that asshole. You needed a ticket fixed, why didn't you come to me? I didn't know you worked here. Oh, they only let me out on patrol when they're shorthanded. Mostly they got me in the property room. Property room? What are you doing tonight? You asking me out? Yes, I am. <laughs> like these boots, don't you? You got some body on you, you know that. Yeah? You horny? Oh, yeah. <sighs> no, you're not. You're high on dope. Not true. Whatever I take's prescription. Except for the heroin. Wake up, McNaughton. You know, there's times I can't get what I need with a prescription. Really? Yeah. My back hurts sometimes. Well, maybe there's something I can do to make that pain go away. You definitely can. What's that, baby? What do you want me to do for you? Check out your property room. See if there's any Oxycontin or buprenorphine dilaudid, you can sneak out of there. Just make sure you get rid of the voucher copy. You're nuts. I think it's going to be a little more complicated than I thought. You're kidding me. The best thing to do is to have her plead not guilty. By the time a court day comes around, I'll have talked to the cop who wrote her up. I thought that's what you were going to do. I went straight to the lieutenant. He wound up being a hard on. It'll work out. It's just going to take a little longer. Come on. Kind of calls into question the half a point for nothing concept, don't you think? <laughs> You're some cheap prick, you know that? You say you're gonna do something, you don't do it. Good! Charge me for the half point. And after last weekend, you're down $3,000. You might, I mean, might have thought to bring me a little something. Two dimes! On Louisiana against Georgia. Okay, you got it.
long has he been in there? About 20 minutes. Who else? His girlfriend, at least one infant. That's as far as we know. What are these fucking iguanas doing on my coffee table? They ain't no iguana. Yeah, there are. There ain't no iguana. What the fuck is that? It's fucking iguana. Hope we set up. Swat's around the corner. No! No. Just, just no swat. Let him stay there. Well, the duty captain said he wanted to coordinate with us when we is, ended. Is that right, Stevie? Is that what you're fucking doing now, reporting back to the fucking duty I'm captain? I'm telling you what he said. We need SWAT. We'll call him. Let's go. Who else is in here? Nobody. We're gonna come back every day, you understand? More times we come back. More chances of that child getting shot. Ain't nobody here. He's hiding back there in the armoire. Yeah, I'll stay with her, her mom. I said, get up! Damn, man. You know, it's always nice to see an intact family. A father who honors his obligations. This is what, man. As far as the children are concerned, you're here. That's the important thing. You may be hiding in an armoire, but your child knows you're here. Are you tripping, man? Now, Armand, give us a minute, would you? You're tripping? And shut the door. You on that shit? Shut ain't up. You? Shut the door. Relax, take a seat, come on, sit down. Now we can talk. You don't mind if I light one up, do you? What the fuck, man? I find it relaxes me. What the fuck, man? Come on with that, man. You know, we got your boy, G, right? Man, I don't know no G. He knows you. It's amazing how much you can get done when you've got a simple purpose guiding you through life. My purpose is to find out who shot up this apartment on Josephine. I know the guy who was living there was from Senegal. I know he was selling heroin. I know whose territory he was stepping on and I know who went over to the apartment to straighten him out. I found out all that in the past few days. Where's Big Fate, son? I don't know no Big Fate. Well, see, I know that's not true. Because everybody who comes from where you come from knows who Big Fate is. The fact that you're lying to me about it tells me you're hiding something. Since you know my only reason for being here is to find out who shot up the apartment, I know that's what you're hiding. See, it all, it all comes back to that same simple purpose. 
Man, I ain't telling you shit. Hey, what's wrong? Your father's mad at me because I can't take care of his fucking dog. Why does he need you to take care of her? Because he's going back into AA. He says he can't deal with any more responsibilities besides that he, he's got to stop drinking. I mean, I mean, it ain't like I don't want to take care of it, but I leave at 7 o'clock in the morning to go to work. Oh, let me talk to him. I try to be a good wife to him, Terrence. I do. But, you know, I got a limit, too. You know, he's got a drinking problem. He says he's got a drinking problem, and he, he wants to do something about it. That's good. You know, he's been down this road before, and it, it didn't take. He wants to try it again. Good. But I, I say I don't want you to just tr stick to beer the way I do, but he's, he says he can't do that. Hey, Pop. How you doing? I thought you said the meeting was at 7. Well, I got to get there early, set up the chairs. I'll take you. She can do it. Well, I came over to see you. Let, let me take you for a ride, at least. You feed the dog? You feed the dog? I can take care of him. What are you talking about? Genevieve told me a little about what's going on, and I'll take the dog off your hands for a while. How are you going to take care of a dog? I know. I got a friend, and she just loves animals. All of them. Dogs, too. Adam, right, let's go. Have a good time. discuss this on the phone. How come you only call me when you need something? You're fucked up, aren't you? What? Yeah, yeah, I'm fucked up. What are you doing? I'm going to work. I have to go to Biloxi tonight, going to the hotel casino. Well, how are you going to take care of the dog if you're fucked up and you're going to Biloxi? Harry, the doorman's going to walk him in the morning, and then I get back in the afternoon. Oh, sweet. What's his name? I don't know. You don't know his name? Well, that's my father. You are unbelievable. I gotta get going. Unbelievable. You don't know the dog's name. You better be nice to me. He smells. I need a bath. Did you try to understand something? It doesn't matter that you were just along for the ride. It doesn't matter that you didn't actually shoot anybody. You're playing the prices right now. If the price of big fake getting off light is going to help the DA convict you and your boy G, <laughs> I guarantee you that's just what he's going to do. Now, where's the smoke at, man? What are you talking about? I might as well get fucked up. I got to listen to all this bullshit. So break out the smoke, man. Flipping out on us, midget? Nah, man. Your partner lit up a motherfucking blunt with me before you put the cuffs on. Get a load of this guy? I love this guy. <laughs> what are you saying? You're saying I smoke marijuana in your presence? Huh? Cannabis? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, right. Your word against mine, so who the fuck gonna believe me, right? Lieutenant? Lieutenant, can you step out for a moment? My name is Eugene Gratz, Lieutenant. I'm an attorney. <laughs> this is my client, Donald Godshaw. I understand you've been looking for him. <laughs> How can I help you? <laughs> I just 
just want to talk to these guys for a second. Why don't you wait there? Gentlemen. Can I get you a glass of water? Um, no, thanks. I got to turn over the names of my witnesses to Got Y'all's lawyer. As soon as I do that, Got Y'all look to scare the kid. He can't scam, he kill him. I'll never get to him. Since Got Y'all turned himself in, I've authorized 24-hour protection to start immediately. Just remember, we have no prints, no DNA, no weapon. We lose the kid, we lose the case. Understood? He's a nice dog. I just can't keep her. She said she'd be back 1 o'clock this afternoon. I'm off at 4, and I got another job I got to be at. She didn't call? Nope. The night guy ain't going to want to walk him, and I just can't leave the animal in her apartment. It might do damage. How'd you get my number? Miss Frankie gave it to me, in case of emergencies. Emergencies? This is what I'm talking about. Doesn't pick up the phone, isn't where she's supposed to be. Not showing up. Terrence, think they're gonna put me on the witness stand by May 15th? I don't know, why? It's when my mom goes before the parole board. I'm sure we can get people to put in a good word for her. Hello? Where are you? Okay, I'm about an hour from there. I'm on my way. Frankie, <laughs> I'm on my way. You ever been to Biloxi? Hey, 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 hey! Take it easy, man. Just get my money. He never paid. What are you, the jealous boyfriend? Shut the fuck up. Just get me my money. I usually pay when I'm done. Don't smack it her around. It was erotic shit, man. I didn't hurt her. I'm not hurting you. Did I hurt, did I hurt you? Hmm? Terrence, let's just go. We don't hit women down south. You just made a big mistake, Terry. My father's Andy Winnick. You ever hear of him? Who? Oh. One of the biggest developers in the Gulf Coast. <laughs> Congratulations. Tommy Leonardi's one of his best friends. Hey, listen to me, scumbag. Don't try to impress me with your father knows some guinea hood. Ooh. What you got to take away from this experience is if you ever see that girl again, you turn around and you walk in the oh, opposite direction. Oh, you got that? Yeah, man. I ever heard about you so yeah. much as looking at that girl? Uh-huh. I'm going to wish you were born mm -hmm. without a dick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big mistake. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Someone. You go ahead and take Frankie to the coffee shop. And you stay with her. You can do that, right? Yeah. Do you have to do that now? I'll just I'll be with you in a minute. Let's go. Take care of me. Where do you want to sit? What did Louisiana go off at? Three point underdogs. Three point underdogs. What are they losing by? Eight. Eight. What the fuck is that? There's still two minutes left to play. Mm. Louisiana ain't got his passing game, friend. Good point. You want to hear my picks for the Pac-10? Do I look like I want to hear them? Where's the kid? He went to the bathroom. Are there any other bathrooms beside that one? Yeah, on the other side. Play again. Insert more coin. Insert more coin. Insert more coin. asked me if I'd be okay waiting here by myself. I said, yeah, and he said he had to go to the bathroom. What is going on? He's a witness to a homicide. To what? To five homicides. Let's go. Where are we going? To find him. Where is he? Benny. Call security. Nobody's calling anybody. Where's your grandson, Benny? I don't have to tell you anything. Yeah, you do. I haven't done anything. 
My grandson hasn't done anything. If he doesn't want to be a witness, he doesn't have to be a witness. This is bigger than want to. This was a massacre. Children were executed. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before. I need to know where he is. Young man, I would like to know the name of your superior. And right now, I'm working on about an hour and a half sleep over the past three days. And I'm still trying to remain courteous. And I'm beginning to think that that's getting in the way of my being effective. What are you doing? What? Stop it. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to know where Daryl is. Oh, my God. Nobody saw me come in. Nobody knows I'm here. This old woman's going to run out of air, and you're going to have a tough time convincing people that it wasn't you <laughs> who did it to her. And even if, and even if, you do convince them that you didn't kill her on purpose, you're still gonna have a tough time selling them that you took care of her with a uh, fuck. God. Now listen to me. Where the fuck is he? I said, where the fuck is he? He's on an airplane. Oh. Miss Antoinette bought him a ticket and sent him to live with her family in England. It's right. okay. That's okay. That's a good girl. Suck, suck it up. Come, there you go. There you go. That's it. Take it in. That's a good girl. Take it in. Good. 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 That's it. Breathe. Maybe you should drop dead, you selfish cunt. You ever think about your kids or your grandkids, huh? Sucking up their inheritance through that fucked oxygen tube and Benny's fucked intensive care. You fucks, I hate you. I hate you both. I, I should, I should fucking both. Just right now, I should fucking kill you fucking both. You're the fucking reason this country's going down the drain. Scotland Yard called. The kid's in England. Make him a material witness. Maybe Scotland Yard will hold him. Can't do that. He had no involvement with the crime. He don't want to testify. We can't compel it. Well, we can still try flipping one of the three. Yeah, well, you can try all you want. Nobody flipping on Gacho. They're scared to death of him. As of now, all they are are persons of interest. You got to let him go. Oh, come on. Five homicides and you're letting him go? You weren't supposed to let the kid out of your sight, Lieutenant. You just be glad he didn't turn up dead. This is bullshit. Look, get the hell out of here. Hey, lawyer, you're not the one on the street. Get out of my office. Lives. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just go. Risking our lives on the street. Easy, easy. Yeah, because you know what's involved, right? You're checking shit, huh? Take it easy, take it easy. Maybe if we had a prosecutor worried about something besides one lost record, we'd stand a fucking chance. Hey. What happened when you went to see the grandmother? I told you. She said the woman she takes care of bought a plane ticket and he was on his way to England to stay with her relatives. Any incidents take place when you were there? What kind of incident? Any kind. No. Whatever it is, you're gonna have your story down. Public integrity is waiting for you back at the house. Oh, come on. They're gonna pull public integrity into this? What, what for? That old woman? Her son's a United States congressman. I asked where Daryl was. His grandmother told me. You didn't at any time threaten his grandmother? No, I did not. 
You didn't at any time threaten Antoinette Faring. No, I did not. Lieutenant, you should know a formal complaint's been filed alleging you cut off Mrs. Faringer's oxygen supply. Well, who's saying that? Mrs. Faringer? Is it true? I think she might be suffering from a little dementia. Lieutenant, we're asking if it's true. Absolutely not. Lieutenant? Yeah, you know, I saw five of those driving into work this morning, OK? I want you to clean it up. Clean it up. Ned, excellent. You got my message. Good. Come on. What message? Come on, how's everything at home? Did you get the flowers I sent? How's Jenny? What the fuck are you talking okay, that's about? Good. Yo, wait, you, all right. Whoa. Let's, just look. Stop it. Cut out. What are you doing here? What do you think? I don't have anything for you. Then this is a problem. Yeah, well, then it's a problem. You owe me five large, Terrence. I haven't got it. Then, then you got to give me something. Give me, give me goods if you don't have cash. Give me a gold Rolex. Ned, please, I, I look like I got a gold Rolex. Don't play me for a fucking stooge, Terrence. Just, just keep your voice down. Just keep it down. Don't play me for a fucking stooge. Are you done? Do you think these guys care you're a cop? They will fuck you up. Just like everybody okay, else. Okay. Let me get something down on the Texas game, yeah? Because that's where the season turns around. You know? I know it's gonna. I no. Feel it. Nothing. You pay what the fuck you owe. So I'm a little late on my rent, is all. Okay, it's a rent dispute. Lieutenant. Uh, somebody named Frankie called. going on? All kinds of things. Come closer. I'm Dave. Who are you? Andy. Who are you? Jeff. What do you want? Everything cool? Well, what I want right now is to get this behind position right. He wants money. Who are you? Sit down. I told you. I'm Dave. And the guy you robbed, I know, told you who he was. <sighs> you make a date with a pretty girl. You got to pay. Dear, like this. You want the schwantz, not the prostate. See, that's it. We engage with another human being, we remind ourselves that we're not alone. Plus, who knows, maybe we even learn a little something. How much? You took 10 off them to make it right, you gotta come up with 50. No, that's bullshit. Yeah, it's punitive damages, what can I tell you? I don't get it. She kept up her end of the bargain. He says no. He's a fucking liar. I did everything he asked me to do. Which was what? We want details. You sick people. Oh, listen to her stand up for herself. The indignation. I love it. Where's the money? My bag. It's all here? Yeah. Okay. He owed her 5000 There's 10 and change here. Why not give you this? Call it a day. We could do that. Alternatively, I could tell Jeffy to shoot the dog. You want me to shoot the fucking dog? Or put my calling card on this gorgeous punum here. Look, I don't give a shit about the dog. But you mark her up, I'm going to have a tough time getting you your money. By my money, you mean $50,000. I'll need a couple of days. And by a couple, you mean two? Yeah. Good. Hey, hey. I know. Relax. The boys want to saddle her up just in the spirit of friendliness. You mind? Well, let her get cleaned up, put on something hot. She looks like shit right now. Beautiful, beautiful. What are you waiting for? Now, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but she has a client coming over in 15 minutes. You boys can be done by then, right? The both of us? They'd have been done in 15 seconds. You hadn't mentioned it. My mistake. You'll hit her when we come back. 
Two days, same time, same station, yes? You okay. You got it, baby. Don't make me look for you, Terrence. Take it to my father's house. Buy some time at least. Frankie. They're gone. I can't take care of my own daughter. I just need a place where she can stay for a couple of days. Well, why can't you put her up in your place? I can't take a chance these guys find out where I live, Dad. Come on. Oh, Christ. Hey, give me the job of bringing cookies to a meeting. It takes me a half a day to get it done. You want me to babysit a pross? You don't have to babysit her. She's very self-sufficient. Well, I'm not in any kind of shape to take on something like this. Don't... Look, I, I get home from one meeting, I lie on the couch, and I wait till it's time for the next meeting. That's all I can do right now. Well, let your wife deal with her. They'll, they'll get along like sisters. Get away from me, you wag! <laughs> My husband is trying to quit drinking. You bring this shit in our house? Give it back, lady, or I swear to God, I will stab you in the heart. I will stab you in the heart. What's this? What kind of trash you bring it in here, Taryn? She's going through my bag, my okay. personal shit. Hey, everybody calm down. No. Get it for your father. He's got to put up with narcotics under his nose. Oh, God. Come on. It can't be any worse than you being shit-faced on uh, beer all the time. I'm not. Shit you tell her I'm shit-faced all the time? No, no, I don't. Uh, it's pretty fucking obvious, hey, lady. Hey. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I see shit-faced, yeah. you fucking whore. Watch this. Don't, don't come you, get it. Don't you come fucking get it. Get out of here. I can't deal with this shit. You come. You're a great. Neighbors. You're a cunt, you whore. I'll fucking cunt. Right. fuck you up. Uh, we come in or you come out. All right, come on, let's go. So, uh, Francesca Dunnenfeld, you know her? Just cut the junior G-man bullshit, Yasko, and tell me what you're here for. I'm Yasko. Here's the thing, tough guy. You just keep fucking with the wrong people. First the old lady, now your prostitute friend's customer. The old lady, you might have ridden out. She uh, doesn't uh, remember so good. The colored nurse, she's covering for the grandson, whatever. But when I get a call from the chief of D's office that you're shaking down your pros friend's customer, whose father is hung all the way from here to fucking City Hall. <laughs> you're done, Lieutenant. What do you want? You're gone for starters. Until the outcome of the hearing, you're on modified duty. Better call your delegate. You got an ass kicking coming. You have a good day, Lieutenant. A man without a gun. That's not a man. Oh. No, look, you cut the best deal you can and you get the hell out of the police department because if you stay in, it's gonna get worse. Uh, t Terry, can I talk to you for a second? I can't stay here. I mean, I didn't take this shit from my own mother and I'm not gonna take it from her. Hi, right, Derek, can I get a minute alone with my girlfriend? Just a minute. Honey, just give it a day or two. She's gonna calm down, I promise. I'm so, I'm, I'm so happy you're here. And I, I got something else I want to show you. She's really mean, though. I want to show 
me this place. I spent a lot of time here when I was a boy. That doesn't work anymore. I was here alone a lot. This was my special place as a child. My, my castle. And I would imagine things here. Pirates, buried treasure. And my dad didn't like that so much. But my mom, she, she got it. And, uh, and before she died, she bought me a metal detector. Come up here, I'm gonna show you something. And then, look at that. Right out there, I thought that pirates came up the Mississippi and that they buried treasure right there by that tree next to the house. So I, I, I took the metal detector that my mom gave me and I went out there with it and it started beeping. It was like beep, 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 beep. And I started digging and I, I, I dug and I dug and I dug and I found a, a sterling silver spoon and I was so happy. I started screaming and jumping and laughing. I went, hey man, this is treasure. This is pirate treasure. And I came back in here with it. And I hid it somewhere, this sterling silver spoon. I still can't find it. It could be anywhere. I, I, I know it's here. I don't know what to tell you, Terrence. Not a lot I can do under the circumstances. I know. I tell you guys all the time, you cannot get away with that cowboy shit anymore. You don't listen, now this is where we at. My best fucking detective, I gotta put him in the property room. wrong shit, and I'm here, and they're gonna think I'm doing it, too. So, go to the storage warehouse in Metairie. That way you're not here. And while you're there, get me my 44 Magnum and bring it to me, okay? Hey, hey, sorry. You working here, Elton? Looks that way, don't it? What do you got there? Nine, 10 grams of heroin, black nine? Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you see that scale over there? Huh? It's broken. See? It's useless. I sent for a new one. As soon as it gets here, I'll weigh the drugs, Come on. And, I'll, and I'll get you your voucher, OK? All right, bye-bye. Can I help you, sir? Can I help you, sir? Can I talk to you a minute? Excuse me? Am I stepping outside? I'd like to talk to you. You interrupted my meal. I'm gonna pretend to be polite and sit up like a big man in front of your friends. But you give me a hard time, I'll put the cuffs on you and march you out just like any other shit bird. I'll be back. You all right, Dick? Motherfucker wanna talk to me. You ain't gonna shoot me, are you, motherfucker? <laughs> Why would I do that? I got something for you I think you're gonna like. Let's take a walk. You crazy for coming down here. I'm gonna give you a chance to make some money the old-fashioned way, with a cop protecting you. What I need protection from? Are the cops? <laughs> a cop don't protect me from cops. You'll know when a supplier's under surveillance. You'll know when it's safe to make a pickup. When it's not. 
What I gotta give you? 15,000 a shipment. Oh, I'm sorry, am I being unfair? I know you ain't looking to set me up. Tomorrow I'll bring you some information. Small shit. You decide if you wanna go to the next step. What about them murders? You don't give a fuck about them no more? Look at me. Now look at you. I never did. Got to wait on that dope finally. Thanks. That's all there was? No, I'll double check it if you want. That yeah, don't matter. I mean, we've still got enough for felony. Hey, what do you guys got going on today? Buy and bus on Fourth and Ferret on Andre's outfit. Well, happy hunting. Undercover just busted one of Andre's. Fourth and Ferret. What do you know? Man of your word. Hmm. Are you running me back to my car? Yeah. I need to make a stop first. Is that all right? Yes. This, this is prime real estate. Doesn't look prime. <laughs> See, that's the point. Now's the time to get in. Two, three years from now, all this will be riverfront condos, marble floors, health spas. By that time, another motherfucker made all the money. Don't be going legit on me now, big. <laughs> Money's money. Tell you what, you be the front man, I'll be the power behind the throne. It's like we're working for a greater good. Yeah, you're right. This is a good spot to build condominiums. See? I knew I liked you, man. Come on. I do. You bought dope. I want you buy dope. Now stand the fuck up. Put your hands on the car. I didn't. I didn't buy nothing, man. No. What's this? Officer, please let. Please what? I don't know how that shit got in there. You don't? No, sir. Did I put it there? No, sir. Just some freak occurrence? Yes, sir. Well, that's what you told the judge then. Maybe you'll get lucky and you'll be a football fan. You know who I am. Oh, I know who you are. Then why you you want to fuck my life up for? I, I, I guess to spend it now, that's going to knock me out the draft. I'm sure you'll get a contract of some kind eventually. Shit. You run the 40 and what? What is that, 4-3? What are you going to do this to me? Some... 
For some motherfucking marijuana, man? That's gonna buy my mama a house. So, you're going off a six-point favorites against Texas. If you win by five or less, or you lose all together, none of this ever happened. <laughs> so, I, I can't do that. A fumble, a missed blocking assignment. You can absolutely do it. Sir, please. Please don't now make me Now listen to me, it. Ronaldo. I dumped a lot of money this year on you. I got a chance to get some of that back. I want to take advantage of it. You're going to tell me the integrity of the game means too much to you? Fine, I respect that. I wouldn't dream of trying to convince you to go against your conscience. So turn around. I'm placing you under arrest. You, you, you won't tell nobody. You, you ain't going to tell nobody. Shit, that's what this is. Oh. It's that shit Osama get them motherfuckers before they blow themselves up. That's money. Yeah. Where's the <laughs> money? Hey, shut! Where's the 15,000? You don't get it, man. Relax. All that. Did I not do what I said I was going to do? Yo, man. Relax. Tell me again to relax. I'm not looking to beat you, man. Where's my money? I'll get your money. When? Tomorrow. Where? My place. Give me a cut of the uncut dough. Look, I'm gonna pay you in money. This is interest. That's bullshit, man. What's that, little man? Yo, Mitch, chill out. Here. Now put that gun away before you kill somebody. Kill all of you. To the break of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> to the break of dawn, baby. <laughs> suck. 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 No. Suck. No. Don't talk suck, to motherfucker. Me I suck. About no fucking bets, Terrence. Yo, what's the matter? Don't you like me no more? You don't pay your debts. I don't want to know you. I can't afford it. <laughs> Ten grand. Five by O. Oh. Yeah? Five of Louisiana. Right there. Sup? Where'd you get this? What are you, my priest? It's right there. Here. You got it. That's a six point spread. Oh, shit. Frankie? Frankie? Hey. Hey. I got something for you. Uh, I need to get my clothes. Yeah, don't worry about your clothes right now. This is uncut dope. Just a bunch of stuff from my closet and then from my dresser by the bed. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you much until we know how strong it is, because it's pure, you know. Baby, I've been talking to your father a lot, and I think I'm gonna go to a meeting with him. Uh, oh, well, does that mean you don't want any? I mean, of course I want some, but I... Maybe when I get back. Frankie. Frankie, we... Daddy? Gotta go. Okay.
This the way to do business. This, this way I ain't got to worry about what I'm walking into. I got you. <laughs> yeah, let me hit that shit. the Caucasians rock. <laughs> you my kind of motherfucking cop, man. <laughs> you a crazy motherfucker. What'd that key run you? <laughs> uh, what, what do you care? I'm guessing 60,000. Pretty good guess. Will you shut the fuck up? You owe me 15,000. I'll take 25% of the dope uncut. That means you get my price. That's one way of looking at it. The other is you get to keep 75% and not go to prison for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Go ahead. Make sure you cut that shit before you sell it, unless you want to kill the motherfucker who buys it. Hey, did I ever tell you a story about nigga elk? Nigga Elk, yeah? I was watching TV, the game, right? Ronaldo Hayes, he got tossed up on, he was running with it, he was running, running, running. <laughs> he jumped over three linebackers in midair. He sprouted antlers like a gazelle. <laughs> like an elk. <laughs> he landed again, he ran, ran, ran. He scored a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> That's the crack talking. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not worried about you, so don't be concerned about me. Because <laughs> I'm not concerned if you're not concerned, so don't worry, because I'm not really concerned. <laughs> I'm worried, because if you drop dead, I'm the motherfucker they come looking for. And then I got to end up having a nigga from Africa trying to move in on my shit. And I don't want to shoot no more purple-ass niggas from Africa. You easy, understand? Easy, 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 because I'm not easy. <laughs> fucking God. Hey, hey. I need to go to the store. So? So I need you to watch him. Well, fuck no, I can't watch him. Well, don't be yelling. There ain't nothing to eat then. Get the fuck up out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Hit me again with another one of them rocks. What the fuck's that? It's my lucky crack bike. You a crazy motherfucker. You don't have a lucky crack bike? No, I don't have a lucky motherfucking crack bike. Well, then, Donald, you gotta take a hit off of mine. Why I gotta do that? Because it's lucky. Give me a shit. Give me a shit. Lucky crack fight. Sorry, we're late, fellas. I hope you didn't wait dinner. Who the fuck are you? Third party beneficiary. Your friend here can fill you in on the details. I'm working on getting your money, Dave. That's what I'm doing here. You know, I don't know about you, but I find the hardest part of collecting debts is having to listen to the stories. Wait a minute. Terrence, I owe you some money. $50,000. Plus, my two young friends here were supposed to have had a sexual experience of their choosing with an attractive woman. Nothing. He came across with none of it. Now, that's wrong. That's wrong you don't do what you say you're going to do, Terrence. My end of the dope's worth more than the 50000 Take it. Why don't I take all the dope? Why are you going to take what belongs to me? Well, there was a time when I wouldn't have. I would have taken what was mine and left the rest on the table. But you see, I never got rich enough to retire. I'm stuck doing this shit. And I'm not young anymore. So now I don't leave nothing on the table. Pick it up. Shoot him again. What fool? His soul's still dancing.
shoot him again. What are you doing tonight? I'm getting ready to go to bed. Well, just for fun. Why don't you stop by the apartment on Josephine? For fun? I think you might find something interesting there. <laughs> like what? I'm thinking these bushwhackers might have hit a crack pipe while they were there. <laughs> you know? The off chance they dropped it under the bed where the kids were <laughs> and we missed it. The DNA would placed them at the scene. You had a vision, right? Dioxyribonucleic acid. Frankie? Frankie? Where's Frankie? She's not in the house? Oh, Frankie's on her way to rehab. Rehab? What about her clothes? Some will bring her clothes. Anything else you want to know? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... It for me. We're birds of a feather. We both like our poison. You just drink beer, I thought. of his injury, just that he's taken himself out of the lineup. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, with Ronaldo Hayes being out, the freshman Johnson has really stepped up for this football team. Well, well, you're in the land of miracles, my boy. You know, I'm looking right there at Hayes, and I tell you what, the guy just does not look like a happy guy. I mean, he's on the sideline. He's obviously suffering from some sort of injury. <laughs>
First off, this thing between us has gotten way out of hand, my man. Got way out of hand. Okay? I mean, those Goombas, a couple fucking assholes. And if they disappeared because of something you did to them, oh, man. I got no beef with you whatsoever. Everything between me and you right is rain. And I want you to know that my father got in touch with his guy, and he told to let whoever it is know that that complaint has been withdrawn. Finished. Oh, yeah. Okay? Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. That's the way out. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Look, Ned, if you'd called first, I would have saved you the trip. I, I don't have I'm the guessing money. that you didn't see the game. How did this happen? <laughs> Louisiana by three. Hayes ended up playing? Nope. Worked out anyway. What are you talking about? Nothing. Oh, and my daughter's tickets, speeding tickets. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This female highway patrol officer calls up, says they're taken care of. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's ten thousand dollars. Sure, don't want to count it. I trust you. All right, man. You take care of yourself. <laughs> All right. Great news. What? Our mom came up with this at the crime scene on Josephine. I was uh, just got lucky. Lab found Godshaw's DNA on it. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? That, that is. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, look at that. found the spoon. It's not silver. It's a little rusty. I want to give it to you. It's yours. It's for me. That's so sweet. What the fuck is this? Get up! We got it. Check the outside, check the backyard, check upstairs, check his car. We got this. It's OK. Good, we're good. Upstairs. Cuff him. No. No. What do you mean, no? Here's what happens. Before we can cuff him, he goes for this weapon, we shoot this prick and steal his shit. Fuck out of Terrence, what, what are we doing? I, I thought we had our thing going. No, you're wrong, baby. He acts like he likes you because he likes to get high. Huh? That don't mean he stopped being the police. Cuff him, Stevie! Oh, then you draw a line of murder? Murder work gets interesting. Murder work gets fun. I said cuff him, Stevie. Th this is about money. You want money? You want my fucking money? You want my fucking money? Take my money! But you all gotta kill me for this shit! Go for it, son. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Next time. Now fucking cuff him. I said cuff the motherfucker, Stevie!
Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to conclude this year on a very positive note. In recognition of his leadership and tenacity in the investigation of the Indeli family murders, resulting in the successful apprehension and prosecution of the three individuals responsible, so I'm proud to include Lieutenant Terrence McDonough among those being promoted to the rank of captain. Captain McDonough. No, thank you. We're all going to stick with our sparkling water. I would like to make a toast to the new captain. To new life. I'm probably going to start to cry right now. Oh, that's OK. To my new family. God bless. Here, here. I'm still going to be working the night shift when I get closer to the due date. I'll make sure I'm not. How's that? I mean, I could get to the hospital and all, but I like having you home at night. I like it better that way, too. Stand against the wall. What'd we do? Hey! Stand against the wall! Wait, what, wait, what are you doing? Two you match a description. Somebody seemed passing drugs in the club. Sir, you don't have to... say anything. Do exactly what I tell you to do. So, what are we high on tonight? Nothing. We ain't. Empty your pocket, stump out the handbag. Room service. I didn't order any room service. Oh, I must have made a mistake again. Holy shit. I'm Evaristo Chavez, man. You saved my life. I was in the, the prison that was flooding, man. Oh, yeah. Do you remember me? Are you still with the police department? Port of call, still New Orleans. OK. What happened with you? Judge remanded me to a drug treatment program. November 14th, I have a year clean. Congratulations. Are you all right? Sometimes I have bad days. Listen, you saved my life. I'm almost done working. I'm going to get you out of here, OK? Okay. Do fish have dreams? The doctor gave my mother 
few more days Oh, not what I want to hear But she'll be gone You know, Chavez, I still hate that I ruined my underwear for you. And I'll get She'll be going home. She's been with me 